Schizophrenia is a psychiatric disorder with several debilitating symptoms for which timely intervention is important for effective treatment. In this regard, mismatch negativity, or MMN, an electroencephalographic event-related potential elicited during passive listening in an auditory oddball paradigm, can be a useful candidate. Notably, MMN responds to duration deviations, DMMN, and frequency deviations, FMMN, of sound. As it turns out, the amplitude of DMMN is reduced in patients at an early stage of schizophrenia compared to that in healthy individuals. Importantly, MMN is related to cognitive functions and day-to-day -day functioning. DMMN is correlated with global functioning, a measure of executing daily activities, and FMMN is correlated with working memory. In a series of recent studies, researchers from Japan conducted an electrocorticographic study on patients with refractory epilepsy, which revealed that the lateral superior temporal gyrus was involved in the generation of the MMN. MMN with similar characteristics were also observed in macaques when they were given comparable auditory tasks. Furthermore, electrocorticographic studies in macaques revealed the neural connections underlying the detection of auditory predictions, possibly playing a crucial role in reducing MMN in patients with schizophrenia. The researchers suggested that further research on non-human primate models having a greater homology with humans can reveal important mechanistic insights underlying MMN. In summary, these studies suggest that MMN is a robust, translatable biomarker for early-stage psychosis. With more research underway, a better understanding of the pathophysiology of schizophrenia and other mental disorders at the neuronal level, along with effective treatment and prevention strategies, could emerge in the near future.